already. Always. I've been staring but, at um, <laughs> So, we're about to start drinking. What is this called again? What uh, brunch is this? Old school brunch. Old That's school how you hear the brunch. old school music. So, they're going to play old school music. So, we'll see. I'll show you guys the food. Tequila, if I have to do shit, I'm going to smile. Those clips you just seen was the brunch that I got COVID at. So two years, I was able to not get it. And then Omarion came and tap danced on my ass. I won't really go through the COVID symptoms, right? Like we all know it. I did have it pretty bad. I had to go to the hospital. What I will tell you about is how Dubai has handled it, you know, differently from other countries, right? And also this was my experience because I had friends who had COVID who they did not do all of these things for. So I just think when the numbers are like really high, they don't have all the necessary, you know, people or things to be able to do all of these steps. So when I first got COVID, um, you know, you take your test and then you get it back in your email that you're positive. So DHA is the Department of Health or some, basically the Department of Health for Dubai. So they contacted me first, called me, let me know like you're positive, asked me where I work, where I'm staying, because there's certain hotels out here that you can't live in if you are positive. Um, so they asked me where I work, where I live, if I have other people in the house with me, asked me about my symptoms so far. What they do for most jobs, I believe, is that they also then contacted my job. So I know they for sure do it for teachers because obviously then they have to do what they call a close contact tracing and make sure like none of my students, they got to let the families know. If I ride the school bus, they have to let those people know, you know, that they were around somebody who is um, positive. So they contacted my school because then my school obviously contacted me and then I had to send them over, you know, my positive uh, test. About maybe three or four days into 
having COVID, they make you quarantine for 10 days. And about three or four days into it, I got another call from DHA asking me the same thing. Well, not about where I live, but asking me my symptoms, how I felt, and if I needed to go see a doctor. So I was having issues breathing around that time. And so I just said, it's free. Let me just go get checked out just to make sure everything is okay. So they came, they sent me a COVID cab. And so the cab driver is in like uh, the white, you know, suit, like hazmat suit almost. And then the whole, like the seat is covered in plastic. There's a big plastic divider between us. So they call you a COVID cab and you go to the COVID center, basically. The doctors that's just handling that. You get checked out, um, x-rays, all of that. And then um, they give you free medicine. So they gave me, I forget the name of the prescription, but I know they're using it in China antivirals i don't know the name of the exact one they're using but it was antivirals and then just like pain medication and cough medicine um and then i actually got one more follow-up call from them maybe like three or four days later just to see if i was still having symptoms or if i'm feeling better what they also do out here is that after 10 days, you don't necessarily need to get retested. So all you have to do, you know, because that's when they think that you are not contagious anymore. So basically they send you a recovery form. You get a, a form saying that you have recovered from COVID and you have done your 10 days of quarantine. That's basically all you need to do. If you do retest positive again, after those 10 days, you do not have to quarantine again. So, but they just say you don't need to get tested. Um, I got tested up some days later just to make sure before I went back to school, I just wanted to make sure for myself. But technically the government, you after those 10 days, if you're living here, obviously, if you are traveling here, you need to get retested so you could get on a plane. But if you're living here, you don't have to get retested. So overall, I thought it was pretty cool how they reached out. Now, like I said before, this was my experience because I have friends in the height of it who did not get up. They got the first phone call just saying, you know, how are you feeling? Where do you work? So they can make sure they contact the job. But then they did not get any other follow up. Like nobody asked them if they wanted the doctor or anything like that. So I guess it varies depending on the numbers and how busy they are. But that's how they handled um, COVID. Um, I would not wish COVID on my worst enemy because I had it. Well, I won't say bad because obviously people are dying from it and being hospitalized. And I did not have to have those two things didn't happen to me. But it was just uncomfortable. Like I had issues breathing. I was sick for probably like nine days. Like if I include the days that I didn't feel good before I actually got a test, I was sick for about like nine or 10 days. So it was not fun at all. But that brunch was lit. I'm not going to brunches anymore though. So that's why on my page now, you just see a whole lot of pool parties and things like that because at least I'm out in the open air and nobody has to be like right next to me or like talking in my ear because the music is loud. So I'm off of brunches for a while. But at least I can say that my last brunch that I went to, I caught COVID, but it was also lit. The food was really good too. So that's how they're handling COVID out here in Dubai. Just wanted to let you guys know or let you know a little bit about that experience. So yeah, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what other videos you want for Dubai. Like some people, you know, have told me they want more about like dating or this or that or just like things to do. So comment down below any other videos that you want me to do or any questions you have about Dubai and maybe I can put a whole Q&A type video um, together. Maybe even with friends so you can see different experiences just from like the other teachers and stuff that I uh or people because all my friends aren't teachers that I know out here so yeah I'll see you guys later